I feel like I'm channeling my inner Frenchie with this beret. Hello, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week so far. I have a different type of video for you guys today and it is a what's in my bag video. I will be showing you guys what I have inside my Louis Vuitton Never Fold bag. So let's get into it. So if you guys checked out a few videos back, my Paris and London vlog, you guys would have seen that I picked up this bag at Champs-Élysées in the huge Louis Vuitton store that they have there. And I was super excited because this is my very, very first Louis Vuitton purchase and I I knew I wanted to do it in Paris while I was out there since these bags are from Paris. So I was so excited and so happy. I couldn't stop smiling while I was in the store and while I was picking out my bag. I was just so overwhelmed with joy to have this bag in my hands and to finally own one of these precious babies. And I can say that I am officially obsessed. I feel like this is just the very beginning of my Louis Vuitton collection and I can't wait to add more bags to it and to grow it. But for now, this will be my little baby. So let's see what's inside. I'll have my bag here and I will be reaching in and showing you guys what I have in it. So the first thing in this bag is an Ulta ad. So if you guys don't know, Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty happening right now. It actually started this past Sunday and they have some pretty cool deals. I have circled a few things and some things actually put like a little star on it but the ones I circled I definitely know that I want to get if you guys haven't checked it out yet the 21 days of beauty are awesome they have like 50% off a lot of these brands and then they also have separate deals on their own like part of the Ulta brand having like buy one get one 50% off or things like that but it is an awesome deal to check out and I've been keeping this ad in my purse so that I can pick it up and see what I wanted to purchase for that day. So that's one thing. All right, so the next thing in my bag is gum. I love carrying this big pack of gum. People always laugh at me whenever I pull this baby out and then they ask me like, oh, do you have gum? And I pull this thing out because it is massive. I think it has like over 40 pieces of gum. But as you can see, people do like my gum. They just laugh every time I pull this thing out, but I love carrying this big pack of gum. It lasts so long. And then afterwards, you can just take everything out from it and then use this for something else. So, love that. All right, so the next thing in my bag is this Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebook. It is absolutely beautiful. If you guys saw, I got this at the Chicago Planner Conference this year, and I decided to write important things in here for my trip to Paris and London. Um, so different things like what outfits I was gonna wear each day, um, what we were gonna do every day, if we had any reservations, so I put that in here. I also have this little Paris um, map that one of Joel's friends gave to him and I decided to pop that in here because it fits so well. I decorated it so that I can open it and see um, what was going on each day. So here's a little calendar of the things that we had already made reservations for and then I had all my outfits listed out on this page and then I have all of the hotel confirmations and um, their names and what dates and what times we have to check in, so I have that there. And I also have this Paris Photo Spots page where I wrote down all the places that I knew I wanted to take a picture in. But yeah, I carried this thing in my bag so that I wouldn't forget the confirmation numbers and things like that, and since I knew I wouldn't have access to my internet, as well as it is over here in the US, I knew I wanted to have everything all together and written down, so love that. The next few things in here are these beautiful stickers and these are planner stickers for my friend Belinda's shop at planwithbelinda.com. If you guys haven't checked out her stickers, they are absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing and I will leave a link down below where you guys can check them out and definitely don't forget to use the code JESSICA10 in all caps to get 10% off your purchase. My friend Belinda actually sent these over to me so that I could check them out. They are part of her new collection that she just released on her shop and they're so pretty. This is my favorite one with the big lips right here and these are full size kits so they come with six pages full of stickers and you can use them all over one planner spread or you can definitely divide them and use them up for multiple spreads but they're so pretty love them I love these little Easter ones I think I will definitely make an Easter planner plan with me video with these because they're so adorable and then she also included a cute little personalized note so thank you so much Belinda for these beautiful stickers 
All right, so the next thing in the bag is this cute little pouch. It is a nice little ivory pouch with a little zipper. And this is where I kept all of my loose change from Paris and London. So all of my loose euros and pounds. And I wanted to keep them separate from the rest of my change since now I am no longer over there. And yeah, this is just all the extra change that I have. Uh, I'm not planning to go back to London or Paris anytime soon, but if someone else is, I will have this little pouch ready for them with all the little coins that they will need for their trip. All right, the next thing I see is this universal adapter. So as you can tell, I haven't cleaned out my bag fully from the trip and this little baby saved our butts. It was so strong. It has like the international um, different outlets in the front right here, but we use it to plug in our, our US plug right here. And then it has two USB ports on the side that you can plug in. And in the back it has all of these different types of outlets that you will need. And in the back it has all of these different plugs that you will need on your trip. So it is very international. So like Australia, Japan, Europe, USA, it has them all on this little thing. And I picked this one up from Amazon. I actually got two of them, one for me, one for Joelle. And they worked so well. They definitely gave us a lot of power. I know they suggest not using it with like your curling iron or your strainer, but I used it and they totally worked the entire trip. So I will leave a link down below if you are going on an international trip and you are in need of an adapter, definitely get your hands on this one. All right, so the next two things I see are shades, my sunglasses, and I don't usually carry two pairs, but like I mentioned, I haven't cleaned out this bag since the trip, and so I have two different pairs right here. So the first pair is a Ray-Ban pair, and this one, is the classic aviator style they have the gold frame to them and then it's kind of like a blue green tint to the frame and these are polarized so i absolutely love them i love that they are polarized because in the summer they come in so so handy so they look like this on love them my boyfriend actually bought me these, so I love them even more because they're from him. The next shades are from the Desi and Key Australia collection, and I had been eyeing these glasses for so long, but I had purchased the other um, high-key shades in the regular size, and they were just so big on my face. They did not sit well. They were humongous, and they were always like falling down. So then when she came out with the minis, I was super excited to get my hands on them. And I got the mini high key fades and they look like this on. They're so stylish, so pretty. Love them. As you can tell, I'm a big aviator fan. I just feel like they just fit really well on my face. And I love carrying around shades because you never know with the Chicago weather when it'll be sunny, when it'll be beautiful. So I carried around both of these, but I usually only have one pair with me. But I love these shades. All right, the next thing in my bag is this cute little Benefit Cosmetics pouch. And it says, last year is the best cosmetic. And it is white and pink. I love it. I love this little tassel right here because it's pink so girly and basically in this bag I have a bunch of lip products so I love carrying around lipsticks sometimes you know you want to switch up the color you have on so in the bag I have the NYX butter gloss in creme brulee these are my absolute favorite glosses to wear many 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 years ago one of my first videos that I ever saw was from Chow Bella Megan and she was obsessed with these uh, NYX butter glosses so I became obsessed with them and I still am they are my absolute favorite ones to wear I also have a NYX soft matte lip cream in Abu Dhabi and then I have a ColourPop Cosmetics lippy in midi I have a dose of colors lippy in stone I have this super cute tiny little lippy from makeup forever I have this pure lease uh, lip balm I love using this one it is mango and shea butter and it just smells so good I have max riri Ru, which I'm wearing on my lips right now so just in case it rubs off, I have that one. I also have the NYX Hot Red Lip Pencil. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And I lined my lips with this, so I had to carry it with me. I also have some things that are not lippies in here. I have the Acai Body Power Cream, and this is from the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I had another little sample of these, and I already used it, so I carry this one around just in case. I have a KO Polish Nail Polish in Paper Snow. 
I used this one when I was out there on my trip on my toes and then I forgot to take it out of my makeup bag. But these are my absolute favorite nail polishes to use. I feel like I only use kale polish now. I love them. The next two things are these House of Lashes tweezers and my duo eyelash glue. And the last thing in the bag, as you can see here, is a hair clip because you never know when you might need one. So that's all that was in this little bag. All right, the next thing in here is a little empty pouch from Pandora. Um, I'm actually wearing the little charm that came in here on my bracelet and it is this Eiffel Tower charm that's right here with this gold heart. I absolutely love it. My boyfriend bought this charm for me while we were out there in Paris and I kept the little pouch in there because I forgot to take it out but um, they came in this little pouch and in the US they come in a little box so I thought that was really cute that they came in this little adorable pouch. All right, the next thing in my bag is this beautiful pen from Cloth and Paper. I got this at the Chicago Planner Conference as well. I was carrying this one around with me everywhere with my little traveler's notebook in case I needed to write anything down. I had this handy. The next thing in my bag is this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. And this is one of my favorite lotions to carry around with me. It is just so hydrating. I feel like a little bit goes a very, very long way. I'm going to put some on right now because I need it. Um, but this was the lotion I was carrying around everywhere in my bag. It is just so hydrating. It feels so nice on the skin. And it doesn't have an actual scent to it, which is nice. It is just a lifesaver. Alright, so the next thing in my bag is this hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. This one is their Lemoncello scent and it smells so good. Like so lemony, so fresh. I have definitely repurchased this little item so many times. And they're very inexpensive and they last a long time, I believe. And this is just the one that I always go back to. I love carrying this one around and it just smells amazing. So definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a nice smelling hand sanitizer. The last thing in my bag is the little pouch that actually comes with the bag. I use it as my wallet, so let's see what's inside. I have my Oyster card. This is the card that you use in London to get around in their trains. I have some coupons from Journeys. I have a little metro ticket from Paris. I have a ticket stub from the Demi Lovato, DJ Khaled, and Kehlani concert, which was absolutely amazing. I have another ticket stub for the Bad Bunny concert, and if you listen to Spanish trap music, he is fantastic. You guys need to listen to him. And also Yandel, another reggaeton artist, Spanish artist, joined him on stage, which was awesome. I love that concert. So there's another one. I have a little bit of cash in there as well as some coins and then the usual ID, credit card, debit card, things like that. So that's what's in my little wallet. So that is it. That is all that I have in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. Just to show you guys, it is completely empty. And this little guy I actually got from Amazon. It was in my what to buy for Christmas gifts video. And I also have my initials on there as well, JS. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm a big fan of watching what's in my bag videos. So I wanted to share one with you guys before I clean this bag out and this actually encouraged me to clean my bag out and take everything out of there from my trip and just keep things that I will be using on a daily basis but that is it I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye